Okay, let's go ahead and solve this equation. Of course, that is the topic of this video, is how to solve this equation. So in algebra, when you see this little symbol right there, that's an equal sign, you're dealing with an equation. Of course, we have a variable x, and we want to solve for x. But um, when you are facing an equation in algebra, you have to first identify what type of equation are we dealing with. And there's all different sorts of types of equations that you study in algebra. So I'm talking basically um, algebra one, algebra two kind of level for this particular um, example. But basically the type of equations you study in algebra are linear equations, you study quadratic equations, you study systems of equations, you study radical equations, rational equations, uh, proportions, on and on and on, exponential equations, logarithmic equations, etc. So this starts to add up in terms of the different type of equations you study, um, and how you study how you solve a linear equation is quite different than the way you solve a, a system of equation or a radical equation. So. You just can't say, oh, I just know how to solve equations. Well, again, first thing you need to do is to identify what type of equation this is, and then you have to think about the strategies involved to solve that type of equation. So let me ask you, um, without even trying to find the solution, what type of equation are we dealing with? If you know the answer to that, put that into the comment section. But again, I'm going to go through this step by step here. In just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And I'm telling you right now, if you're struggling with math, uh, there is hope for you. Okay, Do not uh, give up the ship. Don't be like, ah, I'm just a bad math student. I'll never learn this stuff. That's not the case. Okay, So to be successful in math, uh, it requires two things. One, it requires a lot of work. Okay, So you got to work hard. The second thing it requires is great math instruction. Hopefully you have a great math teacher, but if you do not, I can um, help you out with clear, understandable, comprehensive math instruction. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, check out my math help program. You'll find it, um, you'll find the link to it in the description of this video, but super comprehensive help. It will get you through all sorts of um, levels of mathematics. Also, if you are preparing for any sort of test, uh, and there's a lot of those out there, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school mathematics courses for homeschoolers. And if this video helps you out, consider liking it and subscribing uh, to my channel that it helps me out big time. But let's go ahead and get into this problem. And a good uh, way to uh, identify an equation, especially here, we have decimals going on. Some of you might be kind of focused in on these decimals. You're like, oh, this equation has decimals. We have 0.3, and then we have 1.25 here, and 4.9. Don't let that distract you. Yes, we're going to need a calculator to solve this problem, but let's go ahead and change out these decimals with just nice, easy numbers just so we can identify what type of equation we're dealing with here. So instead of 0.3, we'll write 3. And then we have x. And let's just put this as a 2. And then 4.9, uh, we'll put a 6 right there. So basically, this type of equation, uh, where these two equations are the same. Okay, This one just has decimals. This one has lovely whole numbers but effectively they're the same type of equation. So looking at this simpler version of this type of equation, what type of, of equation are we dealing with? Well, hopefully you said, oh, this is a quadratic equation. And if you knew that, I must go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face with a, well, I don't want to give you an A plus yet, but I will definitely give you a happy face because that is very good. Okay, you recognize that this is a quadratic equation now, let me ask you, how do we solve quadratic equations? Well, it all depends. Sometimes you can take the square root of both sides. It all depends on the form of that quadratic equation. Sometimes you can factor, but you can always solve all quadratic equations by the quadratic formula. Okay, And then there's even another thing we can do called completing the square, which is kind of like a long version of the quadratic formula. But basically, what you want to do is look at your quadratic equation and say, okay, uh, what technique should I be using for this particular problem? You always want to use the, the simplest technique. Don't always just go to the quadratic formula because sometimes this is doing a lot of extra work. So in this particular case, what we want to do is take the square root of both sides. As a matter of fact, 
We're going to go ahead and solve this nice, easy version because we're going to see the steps that we're going to take to solve this is going to be the same steps to solve this equation with the decimals. And we just need our calculator here to help us out. But let's go ahead and do this easy problem real quick as a warm up. And again, you can see it is the same type of problem. So instead of our little decimals here, we'll switch those out for three times x minus two is equal to six. So what is the first thing you wanna do when you're solving a quadratic equation in this form? Well, what you wanna do is to get the squared part by itself on one side of the equation and you want it get you wanna get that equaling to one number, okay? So you want a squared, something squared is equal to a number, okay? Now, uh, once you have this, let's just take a look at a more real uh, basic version of this. Let, let's say x squared is equal to 9. This is something squared is equal to a number. Here, you can easily just take the square root of both sides, and then x, the square root of x squared is, of course, x, and the square root of 9 is positive negative 3. So here are two solutions. So with uh, any quadratic equation, you're always going to have two solutions. So this is the most basic, basic kind of... Um, uh, version of a problem that we're dealing with here. So you want to get something squared is equal to a number, but here we have three times X minus two squared is equal to a number. So what you want to do first is go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by three. Okay. So when I do that, I'm going to, and of course, here's the work, um, three times X minus two squared is equal to six. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by three and the result of that is x minus two squared. The threes go away. Three divided by three is one. So now I have x minus two squared and six divided by three is two. So something squared is equal to a number. And at this point, uh, to solve this basic quadratic uh, equation, this is a, uh, the perfect setup to take the square root of both sides. So let's go to do that now. All right, so the square root of x minus two squared is just going to be x minus two. Okay, so I'll take the square root of the left-hand side and the square root of the right-hand side. The square root of 2 is going to be equal to positive negative 2. So again, the square root of x minus 2 squared is x minus 2, and the square root of 2 is positive and negative square root of 2. Okay, so remember, you definitely need both um, um, signs here, both positive and negative. So when you're taking the square root, for example, of 9... Okay, this is going to be both positive and negative three. We need the positive and negative because that's how we're going to get our two solutions. So to solve for X here, I just uh, go ahead and add two to both sides of the equation. And I can write that as X is equal to two plus or minus the square root of two. If you wanted to see both solutions, uh, one solution would be uh, two plus the square root of two and our second solution would be two minus the square root of two. So these are specific numbers. And of course we can actually even uh, get a decimal equivalent by doing this uh, math right here in our calculator. But this is basically the problem that we're doing. Same steps, but we're going to be using decimals, okay? All right, so this is where you need a calculator. At this level of math, um, just speaking about calculators, at a minimum, you need a scientific calculator. So scientific, a scientific calculator has all your nice functions and whatnot. The difference between a scientific calculator and a graphing calculator is a graphing calculator has a nice big screen where you can actually graph things and whatnot. But if you're in algebra one, like first year algebra, um, and you have a scientific calculator right now, that's excellent. But you need to start thinking about getting a graphing calculator for like algebra two and beyond. So things like the TI 83, uh, that's an excellent uh, TI 84. Um, I'm a big fan of Texas instrument calculators. Those are uh, great, but you know, these are also kind of expensive as well. You could probably get a used one somewhere out there, a used TI 83 for less than a hundred bucks. And we'll uh, search uh, that would suit your needs just fine. But let's get back to our problem here. And um, again, you're going to need a calculator. So first things first, we have this 0 0.3 in front of this, and we need to get rid of that. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 0.3. So 4.9 divided by 0.3, and then 0.3 times x minus 1.25. 
squared divided by 0.3, this is going to just be 0.3 divided by 0.3, which is going to be 1. So that leaves us with x minus 1.25 squared and 4.9 divided by 0.3 is 16.33 approximately. This continues on, so you'll have a little bit of um, decimal estimation uh, in our work here. But uh, let's go ahead and take the next uh, step. So we have something squared is equal to a number. So now we can take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x minus 1.25 squared is just going to be x minus uh, 1.25. And the square root of 16.33 is approximately 4.041. Now I'm writing this as an equal sign. Uh, technically, I should put a little squiggly there. That's approximation. Just remember, in mathematics, this is equal and this is uh, approximate. Sometimes you'll see uh, uh, books just kind of keep that equal sign, but that's not a trivial detail. So let me kind of fix that up. So uh, the square root of 16.33 is approximately 4.041, both plus and minus. Okay, now your calculator is not going to give you the plus and minus. You need to put that in there. Okay, those are both um, uh, both both signs count, right? So in other words, a positive 4.0 uh, 4, 1 squared, okay, is the same as a negative uh, 4.041 squared, which is both, uh, both of these answers are going to be approximately 16.33, positive. All right, so now let's go ahead and finish this up. We have x minus 1.25 is approximately uh, plus or minus 4.0 uh, or 4.041, so to solve for x, I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, uh, 1.25 to both sides of the equation. Let's go and just show that work right now. So that's going to give me what? Well, x is now going to be equal to 1.25 plus or minus 4.0 or 4.041. Okay, now you could leave your answer like this, but let's go ahead and break this out so we can have two actual decimals. So our first um, solution is going to be 1.25 plus 4.041. And when we add these decimals up, we get 5.291 uh, uh, approximately. And then our second solution will be 1.25 minus 4.041. And when we do that math, we get negative uh, 2.791. So these would be our two solutions. Remember, we always have two solutions when we're solving quadratic equations. Okay, so how did you do? If you got all this right, well, then I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face, an A++, a 125% and multiple stars to reward you for your awesome, your awesomeness in mathematics, okay? Now, again, if you didn't uh, get this right, don't panic. The whole idea is to learn something from these videos. Uh, you know, you always want to start off with um, identifying what type of equation you're dealing with in algebra. Okay, so that's the biggest thing is to ask yourself, okay, what type of equation is this? And then once you can classify it, okay, you're like, oh, this is a quadratic equation. Now you have to think back about all the things you learned about quadratic equations. Okay, that's why math is, a, it is cumulative. There is a lot of information to learn in mathematics. So when I talk about uh, uh, working hard to be successful in math, I'm not just saying that just to say it, okay? For those of you out there who are successful in math, you have worked hard to, you know, develop these skills, okay? At this level of math, you know, there is a lot to know, but nothing that you can't uh, learn, right? Again, it just takes time and effort to build up your skill sets. And hopefully these videos help you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now, if you need additional help with quadratic equations, one, um, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel for, uh, about quadratic equations, and I also teach this super thoroughly in any one of my algebra courses, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, etc. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.